Hello, we are discussing about GATE 1992 ECE paper and this question is related to analog circuits and it's a 5 marks question. So look at the diagram which is a simple differential amplifier circuit and in this one both the, tran both the transistors are given as identical with HFE value. HFE is nothing but forward current gain whose value is 100 and RE. RE is the input resistance across base emitter junction when you are looking into emitter. RE is the input resistance across emitter base junction of a transistor when you are looking into emitter. So that value is given as 25 ohms that too at 1 milliampere of collector current. And the circuit as also has CMRR that is common mode rejection ratio of 100. We are going to calculate differential mode gain that is V0 by V1 minus V2. Okay. It has indicated that one this is V0 and V1, V2 are going to be input 1 and input 2 on the circuit. Next we are going to calculate common mode gain also. Next what will be the output voltage if DC voltages of 1010 millivolts and 990 millivolts are applied at V1 and V2. These are the three points we are going to calculate. Okay. And differential gain for this one V0 by V1 minus V2 it has given. Okay. So if you are observing V1 is nothing but input for the Q1 transistor. V0 is taken at output of Q2 transistor. For a simple common emitter we know that one common emitter provides 180 degrees phase shift. Okay, that is if input increases at that time output side is gets decreases. That is what 180 degrees phase shift. If input signal increases in voltage at the time output voltage gets reduces. Okay. So here if you are taking V1 output of this one is going to be 180 degrees phase shift. And if you are taking over here it will be in phase that is nothing but 0 degrees phase shift. So V1 with respect to V1 output of Q1 will be in 180 degrees phase shift because itself Q1 is going to be a common emitter transistor and Q2 is going to be common emitter transistor for that one this output will be 180 degrees in phase with respect to V2 but not with V1 with respect to V1 it will be having 0 degrees phase shift so now if you are looking at output is you are writing with respect to V1 so this will be having a positive voltage gain remember it Okay. V0 is equal to V0 is equal to something as positive gain. Okay. So you can write differential voltage gain as AD into V1 minus V2. Okay. And where AD is positive. Where AD is equal to positive. If you are going to write the same thing V0 is equal to you can write AD times of V2 minus V1. Now V2 is the major one. Okay. And V2 and V0 related to the same transistor that will be having 180 degrees phase shift. By that time where AD will be having a negative value. Okay. This you must remember. So now we are going to use this equation. V0 is equal to AD times of V1 minus V2. Okay. Differential gain AD is equal to gm into rc gm into rc gm is nothing but transconductance it is for differential output differential output that is nothing but double ended output you can think you can say double ended output double ended output is nothing but whenever you are taking output as the difference between these two outputs of transistors if you are taking V0 like this plus minus then GM into RC otherwise if you are going with only with one ended that is single ended at that time AD is equal to GM into RC by 2 half of that one ok so this is for single ended single ended output single ended output is nothing but output is taken across only one transistor it is not the differential output okay differential output is nothing but output is difference between the two outputs of both the transistors now it has given v not as single ended so v not is single ended 
so we are going to use this equation and gm is transconductance gm can be calculated by using well known equation ic divided by vt vt is thermal voltage or temperature equivalent of voltage this value is going to be 25 millivolts at room temperature and ic value is given as 1 milliampere of collector current so gm can be calculated as 1 milliampere divided by 25 millivolts so this will be equal to okay mm, you can write it as 40 milliampere per volt so differential mode gain can be calculated in this way ad is equal to 40 milliamperes per volt milliamperes per volt into rc rc value is nothing but this is collector resistance value okay that is 1 kilo ohm 1 kilo ohm divided by 2 40 by 2 is 20 milli and kilo will get cancelled so that you are going to get it as gain as 20 differential mode gain is 20 for this question and common mode gain can be calculated from cmrr so second bit can be calculated cmrr common mode rejection ratio is nothing but ratio of okay differential mode to common mode gain and we know that one ac is equal to you can write it as ad divided by cmrr so ad is 20 divided by cmrr is given as 100 that is 0 0.2 so what you got is nothing but ad value is 20 ac value is 0 0.2 now we are going to calculate output voltage v0 okay for the given circuit whenever v1 is at 1000 millivolts and v2 is at 990 millivolts okay <coughs> so it has given that we have calculated vd is equal to 20 and ac is equal to 0.2 v0 is going to be written as v0 is equal to ad vd plus ac vc remember it for a ideal differential amplifier at that time simply v0 is equal to ad vd only that is possible only with cmrr is equal to infinite whenever cmrr is finite at that time you must use this equation v0 is equal to ad vd plus ac vc this is practical whenever cmrr is given that is cmrr is finite and given that one v1 is equal to 1010 millivolts and v2 is equal to 990 millivolts common mode voltage vc is equal to v1 plus v2 by 2 1010 plus 990 that is nothing but total is 2000 2000 by 2 is nothing but again 1000 1000 millivolts and differential voltage vd is equal to v1 minus v2 okay v1 minus v2 that is 1010 minus 990 which is nothing but 20 millivolts okay now we are going to calculate v0 is equal to ad ad is equal to 20 into vd differential voltage that is also 20 plus ac vc ac is 0.2 into vc is equal to 1000 millivolts 1000 millivolts so this will be equal to 400 everything in millivolts only okay 400 plus 0 0.2 into 1000 that will become 200 so it will be equal to 600 millivolts so v0 value whenever v1 is at 1010 millivolts v2 is at 990 millivolts output voltage will be equal to 600 millivolts but we expected only 400 because of common mode gain okay since cmrr is not infinite output is at 600 millivolts okay thank you